All right. Uh, Mesa, since you're here and I want to take advantage of the time that uh, yeah, you here. are here. Yeah. I like spending time with you, buddy. Um, let's go ahead and talk about Avengers. Uh, oh, so Avengers. Square Nexus critically ill-received uh, Marvel's Avengers announced via a blog post that a slew of new reworks are set to make their way into the title via an upcoming update, uh, including the completely baffling decision to slow down the level progression system after level 25, uh, making an already grind-intensive experience actively worse to participate in. So I gave up on playing Avengers. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, Jose, can I just interrupt you for one the last second? Yes. Something I forgot to mention earlier on in the discussion. There's also two games that came out on the Vita this year. One came out in February. The other one, I think, still has to come out. Okay. Anyway, um, continue. Yeah. But uh, so I, I gave up on playing the Avengers. I really liked the opening hours. There's a lot of attention to detail. The presentation values are all there. Like everything about the Avengers Day when you're on the uh, helicarrier or, or whatever the fuck it's called um mm -hmm. like it was just like a love letter to everyone that's enjoyed the mcu who's enjoyed the comics it was just wonderful to be there i really liked all the platforming sections i like the linear moments like in the early parts of the campaign which is i want to say like the first three four maybe even five hours it goes on for a while but the second it gets it drops down into like the uh destiny level structure where it just drops you like into a field and you're like i don't know here's some side th stuff you can do you have to charge into the base it's kind of tiered then you do a final fight and just like constantly having to grind for more gear and i'm just like i don't enjoy like the base gameplay i'm kind of just here for the forward momentum to get through the story so when it didn't have that forward momentum to get through the story because it just hit a freaking brick wall i'm just like i'm i'm good and so the fact that they're even slowing down the gameplay even more is just like I I have no reason to go back to this. I'll I'll just watch like the cutscenes on YouTube, pretend it's like a freaking MCU animated movie. But uh, Mesa, you you actually you finished it, didn't you? I I've been finished. I enjoy it. I have um, one character that's at level fifty, which is the max level, and like like two more that's at like level twenty five right now. I think. Yeah, I've been playing the game, especially since they just put out the uh, PS5 patch. Yeah, I've been having fun with it. Nice. Um, what do you What do you think about these changes specifically? Like, did you run into any issues in the base game with it being too grindy? Um, not really. Um, uh, the, the uh, for me, like, I didn't really have any issues with the grind. Um. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, I just didn't, I just didn't really have, have have problems like that with the game. Um, and so far as I've been playing it too, um, I haven't really seen, um, I haven't really seen the 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 uh, the, the, the XP drop though. I haven't really have a lot of, I haven't had, I haven't spent a lot of time with characters in that twenty five range, so. So maybe once I get there, I'll, I'll see it. But, you know, but is that so like far, on? It's... Is that like on the higher end, like near level cap, or or what is the level cap? Fifty. Okay. So mm -hmm. just the halfway point. It's just kind of where it's gonna yeah. like hit a wall um, once this rolls out. Mm. Have you tried the PS5 upgrade by the chance? Yes. Yes, I've been playing it on the PS5 upgrade. What uh, they... it's been fantastic. Biggest it... change for me personally is it's essentially instant loading. I saw a comparison. It's, it was like before it was like a minute, minute and a half. Yeah. And now it's mm -hmm. just like two seconds. If that now it's like two or three seconds. Yeah. That's freaking insane. Uh, yeah, how's it looking the, uh, visually and like uh, even performance visually and performance wise. So I've been playing in performance mode. So I'm playing it at the uh, uh, 60 and it's almost 4k and it boosts it up a little bit. Um, it's been, it's been really solid for me. I haven't had any issues at all. I have played with a friend who was complaining that um, it dropped all the way to the bottom of its um, of its dynamic resolution mm -hmm. um, and stayed there for a long time. I personally haven't had that happen, um, but yeah, he uh, it happened to him. So I, I just want to keep it, keep it out there. Since you brought it up, I just want to like mm -hmm. specifically shout out um, dynamic resolution options in games because mm -hmm. I think they're that and DLSS is just. Oh, such a dramatic freaking uh, lifesaver! It's actually it's actually um, even even better than that with the on um, PC because it has 
It has, um, it's one of the only games, I think this and recently Cyberpunk are the only games that have dynamic DLSS. Where it keeps the same output resolution, but the input resolution gets to fluctuate based on frame rate. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do you have any desire to like keep continuing to play? Because I know they just dropped... um... I almost said they have night, two night Hawkeyes in the game. Yeah, they have Hawkeye and then they have Kate Bishop, who's basically <laughs> just Hawkeye, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hawk yeah, Kate Bishop is Hawkeye, but it's like but she basically has like trickster. Um, and she uh, has like a stinger and everything. The for- comic explanation for that is uh Kate Bishop took over for Hawkeye while he was being another like he was undercover or something in the comics. Mm-hmm. Um both of see in the Hawkeye thing. This is the why I'm. This is the only thing I'm talking about during this whole conversation. Is <laughs> yeah, um, I, I I just popped off a of mute so I can discuss this too. Matt Fraction did a run of Hawkeye that is pretty self-contained. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's amazing if you if you if you enjoy superhero comics and you have any interest in Hawkeye the character at all. Even if you don't, I would say still check it out. Um, these characters are from that and are very clearly like they're trying to emulate their characterizations from the Matt Fraction run of the series. What depresses me is the fact that number one, when they built up to this, they didn't show that Hawkeye skin being like the focus. They were yeah. focusing on the really, I mean, the one that yeah. he's age, which is good, but is also just a boring design of a bald guy. He looks like Cole McGrath in fucking War <laughs> <laughs> I have not heard that name in ages. Or he looks like the dude from Resistance, but in the second one when he had the weird black armor. Like the special ops You're, you're confusing me with all these bald uh, white protagonists. <laughs> There's so many. Um, and Kate Bishop, you know, is is a really cool character, but something I've re- I've come to realize is like how you know Mesa just said it's like yeah, there's to anyone who's not familiar with that specific run of Hawkeye, you're just going so there's two Hawkeyes in this game. What the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I mean, even if you it, are, even if you are familiar, it's still just two Hawkeyes. The first characters that they added to the game are two Hawkeyes. <laughs> and when I found out that Spider Man isn't even like. St- there yet. I actually was like, holy shit, they didn't have him in it yeah. like launch. Aren't I'm fine with it. Thing. I'm pretty I'm sure they it, said but... it's because of COVID or something. That oh, yeah. Spider-Man's been like super pushed back. Oh, yeah. I-, I would have imagined they would have at least pushed Spider-Man in between, like reallocated their resources to that, because now it's like, like, it's just, just back yeah. to back. Here's one Hawkeye, and there's like they they got hurt with COVID really hard. Oh my god! Like this just, update was supposed to come out when the I, when the when the when the Xbox uh, when the Xbox and the PlayStation Five came out. So like, yeah. I just had the worst idea. Which yeah, it's the best idea. You sure? What? What if? <laughs> what if they make an announcement before Spider Man comes out? Like, by the way. It's A, it's either a timed exclusive, or B, it's not an exclusive anymore. How mad are people going to get that have bought PS5s over Xboxes specifically for Spider-Man? Or bought a copy of that game on that console I mean, because of Spider-Man? I mean, console if that's your reason, gonna... you kind of deserve it, not going to lie. Console Warrior's <laughs> going to console warrior. That's the right answer, Mesa, as well. <laughs> <laughs> if your reason for that is that well you said there's some I, I mean you bought a ps5 because you just wanted a ps5 but um there's a lot of people inclu- i guess including you if you want to do that that specifically got the ps5 version like even over the pc because of spider-man yeah yeah true yeah. i'm actually really happy with the console version though that's because i don't know I like PC gaming. I like playing on PC, but you know. it's not like it's not just like sitting down playing on a console. Don't say I don't I, know. I, I prefer sitting at a desk, but I'm glad I paid a grand total of zero for my copy because it just came with the uh, I think the processor. Yeah, I, no. I because of a because of a work thing, I ended up getting it two for PC. So, oh, when you were building computers, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice, uh, but. Yeah, I don't have much to say on Avengers. I'm, I'm pretty down on it to be honest. I don't want to bring the the mood down. No, it's fine. I'm having fun. That's all that matters. That's to all me, that matters. Least. That's all that matters in life in general. If Mace is having a good time, <laughs> that that's what I tell myself when I'm feeling down. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, is let's it, go is to... it like, is it Anthem 2? Though I guess... Oh god. I don't think so, because I think Avengers can pull itself out of the... I think... I Now, the window is definitely tightening. I definitely... But I think there is still a world where they're able to, 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 to pull up. I don't think there was any universe that Anthem could have pulled up. Oh, of course not. I mean, to, yeah, the, the, granted, it's the power of the IP, but at least Avengers uh, has a personality. <laughs> yeah. Anthem is just like there. It is weird how they have that there. Because I'll never forget, like, when people, the fucking statement about, like, how Cap, the, 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 the likenesses that all look really weird. Oh, and, yeah. The fact that Captain America looks like he calls black people the N-word on, <laughs> on weekends. <laughs> he, he lo- I, I, I hate so to say it, but it's like the design looks like a dude that we've seen like hanging outside of Home Depot. It's it's uh, it's relevant if it's relevant if you've been watching uh, Falcon and Winter yeah, Soldier. <laughs> Yeah, I've, I've seen. I've seen. I saw an article posted about how, oh, like, God. how how the ham-fisted uh, racial element, like, to that, like, both is what we need, but is also not like even close to what we need, or something. I I just saw a title written by it. There's, someone, I, but... th- I mean, I actually actually am surprised from Winter Soldier, uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier, because there is a lot of ham-fisted stuff, and there's actually a lot of subtle stuff that I wasn't expecting. That's good from I this just, show. So. I. I just want Bucky and Sam to get along. I want them to be friends. Well, as long as Captain, as long as that Captain America is on screen, they're friends. I I will say, Sam is, he, he's okay from an outside perspective. Sam's funny. He's witty. He is kind of unnecessarily a dick. He's he's having fun with the boy. Come on. <laughs> It's like, it's hey man. If I if, if I had a camera on how I talk to some of my friends, it wouldn't look very great. Okay. <laughs> There's always that one person in the group. Sorry, Bucky. Yeah. Oof. God. Um, Jesus Christ. 